Hi, welcome to an on-shape video tutorial. I want to do that dome made of bricks exercise in on-shape. Went pretty well, so let's have fun with on-shape. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the top plane. I need a circle. Diameter of that circle might be 200. Confirm and leave that sketch. Make an extrude. Make it a surface, select the circle, turn it around, maybe 50 millimeter, and confirm. Now to control the fill surface, I need another sketch. So I'll go for this one. I just need a point. And the distance might be. One hundred and eighty, and this should be aligned. Confirm. Now for my fill, I want a new one. Yes, this edge. I want to go for tangency, and I want to add a guide, and I don't want to merge it, and the guide. should be this one and let's see if we go for new it automatically switched to add take care and okay now in order to trim it i will need another plane let's hide this one let extrude that's surface one. Okay. Now I will need a line anyway. So let's go for another sketch because let's see, can I do it without a line angle? I need a line from plane, side plane. I still need a line angle and that's the problem. So I go for a sketch right here, draw a line, maybe like this, and confirm. Now I can do one with an angle, so that would be the line. And the angle might be, in this case, let's take a look. If we move it here, it would be 72 degrees. And confirm. So now let's split that surface. Go for split should be a part. I want to split this surface with the, let me check this plane right here and confirm. And I could hide that surface. Now another split with this one and the tool would be that plane. Confirm and hide that surface. Now I want to do some planes. Let's see if we can do it in that way. So I go for a plane. It should be normal to a curve, so I need a curve point and I will use that endpoint of that edge and confirm. So this didn't work. I might go for a sketch on the front plane. No, that's the wrong, wrong one. So let's hide that plane. And go for a sketch on the front plane. I need to include this edge. And let's put a point 
right there confirm this one maybe hide that surface for the moment and now I want to do a plane normal to a curve so go to curve point that's the point that's the curve and confirm now I want to pattern this one along a curve so go for where's my pattern there you are go for a curve pattern I want to pattern a feature and the feature I want to pattern is that plane the path would be this one and I need let's see five or six one two three four I need six and okay now let's go for another sketch on the front plane and bring these into my sketch so go use project convert this one that's not possible so I have to do it with lines and put them onto those coincident I need no length now put those onto these coincident now I want to make them sort of let's use that line and try to trim these that's already there that's great so go for trim this should be removed that should be removed and this should be removed and you could do it with a circle but it doesn't really matter how long these are if they're long enough so if I could just choose that surface, they're long enough. I could trim them as well, but it doesn't really matter. So leave that sketch. Now let's hide all those planes. And those planes as well, probably. Oh, that's a pattern, sorry. So hide that pattern. Nice. Now let's do the revolves. So go for revolve. Make it a surface. Make it not full, but symmetric. Go for 45. Select that edge. And this axis. and confirm show that sketch go for another revolve again a surface again symmetric 45 degrees and select that line and this axis confirm next one surface line axis symmetric 45 degrees and confirm and another one go for a surface select the line select the axis make it symmetric go for 45 and confirm now I want to thicken that surface should be somewhere over here thicken that surface that 
direction is okay, make it 10 millimeter and confirm. Let's hide that surface and split that solid or body. So go for split. I want to split this part with that surface. Confirm. Split once more. Now this part with that surface. Split once more. That part with this surface. And the last one. This part with that surface. Confirm. I could hide that sketch. And now you could uh, make parts of these solids with derive. It's almost the same as in Inventor. I will do a pattern. So go for a circular pattern. Circular pattern. I want to pattern parts, yes. This one, that one, this one, that one, and the last one. And the axis of the pattern will be this line. And I need 20 instances. And confirm. And I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.